Well, we are now in for another wave of excessive heat across Central Indiana. We've been telling you all morning long now. And we know a lot of people still have to be outdoors in this heat, whether it's for your kids' sporting events or because you work outdoors. Our Matthew Foltz is live this morning at Whiteland High School with how coaches there are adjusting. Matthew, a uh, team practice happening right now behind you, it looks like. Julia and Julia, that's right. The team football team is actually practicing right now here at 630 in the morning instead of the evening. And if you take a look, they have plenty of water on hand. You have these water spigots, which is pretty creative. And that's the big thing that uh, health experts are recommending you have this week is plenty of water. And I actually spoke with the coach. You can see as they practice right now, they made the decision this week to switch to morning practices to kind of beat this, uh, the high temperatures in the morning. I have to say right now, now, it's still a little muggy, but it's a lot cooler. We even have a slight breeze, which is making things, uh, I guess, um, I, I can't think of the word, but it's it's doable, if you will. And I actually spoke with the coach uh, before practice this morning. Here's what he had to say as far as uh, switching practice this week. With the weather the way it was yesterday, we had to go inside, and uh, obviously, you know, we want to find a way to win. That's, you know, well, we'd always been what we've done around here for 19 years. So, you know, we do what it takes. And experienced, you know, mature football teams that expect to win can adjust and adapt and play with their knees bent. So that's what we're doing this morning. And back here live, you can see football players taking a quick water break. That's one of the big, another big thing is they're making sure they get uh, breaks in around every 15 minutes or so. There is a clock uh, countdown here, so making sure they're staying safe and hydrated. And if you happen to be not a student athlete, maybe you're a parent, experts say to make sure you check on your kids and make sure you check on neighbors, especially those who are 65 years and older. So Julia and Julia, schools across central Indiana are really taking extra precautions this week to make sure everyone stays safe as they head out and about on their activities. Matthew, maybe the word you're looking for was cooler, but you couldn't find it because it hasn't <laughs> been cool out there for a long time. That's what it is. Thank you, Matthew.